shit. We got some Max Payne 2. Oh, man. This brings back memories. Very blurry memories, but still. All right. No save game. Do you want to create a save game? Yes, 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 yes. Okay. First, let's look at the options, make sure everything's all good. Okay. Enable auto aiming, auto lock, invert aiming. I don't know about that. I don't want invert. Enable vibration. Enable auto bullet, time aid, subtitles, yeah we'll use subtitles, I don't know if I want the auto lock, or auto aiming, I'll see what it's like and I'll change it if I don't like it, alright, video, oh no, <laughs> no that wasn't good, audio, Hmm, huh. okay, we're all good here. Save it? I guess. Let's look at previously before we even start. I am Max Payne. My wife and daughter were murdered. It had something to do with the designer drug V. I transferred from the NYPD to the DEA. Went undercover to find their killers. I got too close. I was framed for murder. With nothing to lose, I went after the Mafia during the worst winter storm in the century. My first stop was Vinny Gagnetti. A low life in the habit of taking his frustrations out on underage call girls. I left him bleeding in an alley after I'd gotten what I wanted out of him. I met Mona Sachs in a gothic nightclub, Ragnarok. She was a hired killer. We were after the same man, her sister's sadistic husband. I was drawn to her for all the wrong reasons. I made a deal with Vladimir Lem. The Russian was a smooth operator. He helped me get to the mob boss I was after, but I was in over my head. The government was involved. A mystery man called Alfred Woden told me the name of my real enemy, Nicole Horn. Woden and Horn were both members of a secret society, the Inner Circle. She was behind V, behind everything. While working for the DA, my wife had accidentally seen papers that incriminated Horn. Wood promised to take care of the charges against me if I took Horn out. Deputy Chief Jim Brevora of the NYPD was trailing me by the empty shell casings that I left behind. Gunshots made me deaf to the sirens, but they couldn't drown the sobs of my dead wife. Mona sided with me against Horn. She took a bullet for that. Her body disappeared behind closing elevator doors. I killed Horn. I gave myself up to the police. I had enough evidence against Woden to know that he'd keep his promise. I lied to myself that it was over. I was still alive. My loved ones were still dead. It wasn't over. It wasn't over. It's never over. Alright. New game. Detective. Part 1, The Darkness Inside. Prologue.
This is the hospital level, if I am not mistaken. I don't know for sure. <laughs> God, I turned out to be such a damsel in distress. They were all dead. Love kills. Did I love her? Was there a choice? The past is a gaping hole. You try to run from it. The more you run, the deeper, more terrible it grows behind you. Its edges yawning at your heels. Your only chance is to turn around and face it. We are at the sea. Repeat, we are at the sea. But it's like looking down into the grave of your love. Check the area! Hold your fire! Or kissing the mouth of a gun, a bullet trembling in its dark nest, ready to blow your head off. Yep. We're losing him. Multiple gunshot wounds. Pupils blown. Head trauma. God only knows what else. He's in shock. Start two large four IVs. Get him to ICU. He's We're not dead. responding. This guy is a train wreck. We're losing him. When I woke up in the hospital earlier tonight, I thought it couldn't get any worse. I opened my eyes, and everything slid into focus. She was dead. I was hurt. My crime, what I had done, was like a hungry pit behind me. I had to run, get as far away from it as possible. The world was out of joint. I was hallucinating. I had to get away. Max, the route's clear. Allow me to present Max Payne. Come on, officer. We're here. Dear hey, you my friend. Hey, you need to get out of there. We need to leave now. Sorry. Run! Run! Max, what's going on? Max, about what happened. I would fuck her. Hey! Hello? Stop your weapon! Anyone there? NYPD, freeze! What were you thinking? Back off, Payne. Max? Max, answer me, Max! There was a blind spot in my head, a bullet-shaped hole where the answer should be. Call it denial. I wanted to dig inside my skull and scrape out the pain. Dr. Magdalena from 
ER. You can give away the bed you were holding for me. That detective we were waiting for was DOA. She's headed for the morgue. I'll deal with Payne. He's as good as dead. Freeze, NYPD! Found him. She's one of them. She's here to kill me. Back off, Payne. Winterson! You're not going anywhere. What happened out there? You did it. Eternal Affairs is breathing down my neck. Did you do it? You killed her. No, I can't. Ah! <laughs> Bullshit. circles until you fall back down to the same hole you were trying to escape from only the holes grown deeper <laughs> Hey. 
I had tried to run from it, edit it out. Winterson was dead. I was a murderer. A false start. The hospital bed wasn't the beginning. It was past the point of no return. A fatal choice already made. And it would get worse before the end. The past is a puzzle, like a broken mirror. As you piece it together and you cut yourself, your image keeps shifting. And you change with it. It could destroy you, drive you mad. It could set you free. You, inside, drop your weapons and come out with your hands above your head. You'll see the choices you didn't know you'd made, like staying at work late to chat with a friend instead of hurrying home to your family. Fan out, people. Circle around. Cover all the exits. Kissing her, I think of the cold laws of cause and effect. Bear those extra units. Call the central. We need every available unit here now. I am afraid, but I start again from the beginning. Trace my own steps to the scene of the crime. for what I had done, but Alfred Woden had kept his word. With his influence, ridiculously, I had emerged from my history of violence unscathed, a hero. I didn't thank him. I couldn't stomach it. I left the DEA. I went back to where I had started out, back to the job, the NYPD. Reported shots fired in the warehouse there, acknowledged. It's mine. I'm on it. 10-4. It wasn't a call for a homicide detective, but I knew the address. The warehouse belonged to Vladimir Lem. He was connected to organized crime. We went back a while, like brothers caught on opposite sides in a civil war. His words. I need backup. Unknown number of armed perps inside. Possible hostage situation. 10-4, backup is on its way. I'm going in. With no way to deal with the past, I kept my eyes on the road, off the rearview mirror and the road kill behind me. I chased lesser mysteries, other people's crimes. Gasoline, 
Lang Insurance Companies, because your home is your castle. For more information, call now, 555-CASTLE. This week, television is as oh, as mirrors. Two days and two nights non-stop. The cult series, Address Unknown. All the episodes, all the madness, in our return to Sender Marathon. A glass of Gold Touch Brandy to make you feel rich and famous. Hi, have we met before? Is this seat taken? <laughs> gold Touch Brandy, a taste of gold. Americans Avenger 9mm handgun when it's too late to protect your loved ones. No! 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 Americans Avenger... Oops. NYPD. Whoa, easy, officer, easy. Just cleaning the place. Come on, officer, it's all legit. I work for the squeaky cleaning company. You didn't hear anything suspicious just now? No, no. Oh, wait. <laughs> you mean the gun workshop upstairs? Take me there. Move. Sure, officer, if that's what you want. You know, officer, you cops got it easy. All you have to do is go to the crime scene and look around a bit. We're the ones who have to clean up that mess, brains, and guts and shit. Detective. DT, huh? You know what I mean. <laughs> you get the credit, what do we get? Right. <laughs> oh yeah, you know what I'm saying. After you, detective. Oh, detective, I've got something for you. Shoot! Ah! 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 The perps were masquerading as cleaners. Thing when they do that. It's an insult. That's what it is. We're trying to... <laughs> Kaufman's waiting at the van. The hardware's been bad. As soon as the guys get Jackie Brown in there taken care of, we're done. Okay. I'll round up the crew, make sure the cleanup's done. Bodies, blood, prints, air, mags, empty breath. When we're out of here, there won't be a shred of evidence for the cops to find. Just a ghost story. The room looked like a gun storage, but it had been cleaned out. The answering machine had a message on it. You've reached Annie Finn. I'm not here right now because I'm building some nasty things that kill. So leave a message after the beep. You have one new message. Sweet Annie. Flood here to be a gun in your gentle care. Ah, man can dream. Sorry I couldn't be there as promised. Something's come up. Nothing to worry about, but keep an eye out for trespassers. If anything happened to you, anything comes up, just whistle, and I'll be there. You have no new messages.
told you to sit down. Enough chit chat. Finish her. Wait, the mob guys attacked us. I have no beef with you guys. You took them out. Listen, I work for Vladimir. Honey, you work for no one. <laughs> what do you want? We we can NYPD, drop them! Finish her! Oh god, no! Like all the bad things in my life, it started with the death of a woman. I couldn't save her. After him! Don't let him get away! <laughs> can it take? They're not supposed to cuddle with her afterwards. We need to wrap this up. Kaufman wants us to move. What the? Max, we gotta stop meeting like this. Mona! If you think nothing can get to you, you're lying to yourself. At best, you're temporarily dead. A lightning bolt can reanimate you without a warning. My backup had arrived, but the cleaners were slipping away, making a run for it. together on this. You got sloppy pain. You screwed up. It's unacceptable that she's dead. You can do better. I played it as business as usual. But everything had changed the moment those elevator doors opened to reveal Mona. Annie Finn was a licensed gunsmith, licensed dealer in firearms. Right. The property owned by Vladimir Lem. Three groups. One, DOAs who had connections to Russian OC. Identified as Finn's employees. Two, the Mafia. And three, the clowns wearing the cleaning company jumpsuits. They mentioned a name, Kaufman. This one's evil. It has only started. I don't like it. I don't like it a bit. It's yours, Payne. It makes no sense. For you, Winterson, homicide. Sebastian Gate. It's gonna be all over the news. The Senator. Winterson was the ideal. What the job was all about. Someone to look up to. Bravora knew it too. 
We got lucky. There's an eyewitness. She hovered over my shoulder, whispering warnings. I didn't want to listen. Mona was the suspect in Winterson's case. I didn't tell them I had seen her. I wanted to stall. Maybe it was because she was alive when everyone else kept dying on me. Survivor's guilt washed away. Detective Winterson's phone. Give me that. Your boyfriend. The computer search on the squeaky cleaning company in Kaufman had come up empty. I needed to talk to Vlad, get his version, be the bearer of bad news on Annie Finn. Vlad had bought the old Ragnarok nightclub. He was renovating it into a trendy restaurant, vodka. Mona's appearance had triggered a dislocation, schizophrenia. I felt elation, but with it, fear that all the past evils had come along for the ride. Max, 911. Bad guys with big guns. They've got me pinned down at the entrance hall. Could use some help. Could use it now. I had to find another way to reach Vlad. No time to call backup. My case had a life of its own. I got in through the back door. Memories of my previous visit here lurked in the shadows. A musty smell under the coat of new paint. Ladies and gentlemen, allow me to present Max Payne, New York's finest, with the hey, biggest monster it. body count. Max, I'd love to come and welcome you, but I'm busy dodging bullets and hiding under a desk. At home. Oh, shut up and stay alive, I'm coming. He's coming for you. Max, these wise guys are really lousy shots. You should have no trouble taking them. Afraid so. Max! I'm Mike, Vladimir's friend. You are the sheriff. Uh, how about making me your deputy? Let's go bail out your boss before he talks us all to death. Let's ride! They asked for you. Just follow the trail. Very <coughs> good show. Very funny. Baseball Bat! The Adventures of Captain Baseball Bat Boy! Episode 165! Captain Baseball Bat Boy's girlfriend! Yeah! She's not my girlfriend! Captain Baseball Bat Boy's arch nemesis! That's more like it! Bicycle Helmet Girl has been kidnapped by the villainous Maxwell's demon! Get your hands off me, you ugly freak! <laughs> To save her, Captain Baseball Bat Boy must battle through a horde of demons' minions, the freaking zombie demons from outer space. Bases loaded. <laughs> Fastball! <laughs> Foul ball! Captain Baseball Bat Boy has hit a home run. But can he find Maxwell's demon's secret lair before the game is over? <laughs>
Find out in the next episode of The Adventures of Captain Baseball Bat Boy. Go! Castling Insurance Companies, because your home is your castle. For more information, call now, 555-CASTLE. Jesus Christ, apocalypse now. Got some heavy shit here. Tone it down. Just take everything. Leave them nothing. Winterson would have found a way to do this nice, neat, and clean. Logic told me backup should be on its way. Someone must have heard the gunfire. Logic was such a liar. Teeth. The whole set for a tooth. Shit! That was bad. Vlad wouldn't be able to hold on much longer. But it wasn't too late already. Your hands are shaking! You couldn't hear the truck! Ah! 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 
Mastermind? He is wiping out everyone he sees as competition on the black market gun trade. The Mafia underboss has made a deal with someone powerful. <laughs> what was it you did for a living again? Scout's honor, detective. I have mended my ways, evolved to a higher level. Vodka will be the best restaurant in the city. I'll be rich and famous. Annie was a princess. They killed her for no reason. You hurt your hand just now? <laughs> a hot date yesterday. Can I tempt you? Let's pretend I'm on duty. Sweet home. Something in the night felt like a door had been opened. An echo of the past. An old monster snapping its eyes open in the depths of my brain. Closing your eyes forces you to look at the darkness inside. And now, a dress unknown. I hadn't slept in a long time. When I did, my dreams were nightmares. I was trapped in a nightmare. My evil double had taken my girlfriend. In a nightmare, every choice you make is a wrong one. Following him, I had somehow slipped into a twisted alternate reality. Noir York City. I would wake up at night, afraid that day was a dream I'd forget. My double was John Mira. He was the devil incarnate, a fallen angel. The flesh of fallen angels. He was a serial killer. He had framed me for his murders. I was, I was hiding in a cheap motel. 